I'm not sure if I should start off with the protest in New York City over the police officer who choked someone. Um, Beautiful demonstration. A real demonstration on how to uh, properly demonstrate your rights. Or if I should start off with this first, uh, first time ever Black Friday no incident reported to me deal. Normally I'd look in my email and I'd find all these reports of Black Friday sales and shock treatment wise it is for me to sit there and not hear any of this stuff. But I'm sure people have had stories. They just didn't send them to me. They just didn't want to. They didn't feel like it or whatever going on. Um, A lot of people don't send me emails anymore. People I'm getting disappointed in. I'm doing these shows and no one's participating. But we have a full schedule for you today. A full show. And rumor has it that I'm putting some livable messages in my pictures here on YouTube for the shows, it's true. If you read them, you'll know what's going on. And uh, a lot of times, uh, I think everybody does some nibitable stuff around the holiday season. Um, Who got stuck with the Black Friday TV sales? I'm about to tell you something right now. You realize that that TV was not on sale. Do you realize that that TV... Uh, was not uh, a deal. What they do is they take TVs off the shelves that don't sell and they put them on huge bargain prices on Black Friday. Um, Then you think you get a deal and you're not. You're probably getting the same price that it never sold at normally. What? Alrighty, the person on the board is bothering me again. What do you want? Oh, yes, yes, yes. There is a few things um, that happened. There was some people that, I guess, tried to steal stuff. They got arrested for it. Why would you steal something on Black Friday? Why would you attempt to do it then? Why would you steal something at all? I'm not promoting stealing stuff. I'm not promoting being a theft, a thief. Um, robbery, whatever you want to call it. I'm not promoting it. Um, I'm just saying, why would you do it? All those people, all those guards, there's cameras. Um, here, I guess some of the stores had huge lines in front of them. Extra police officers were put on duty. Nothing happened, of course, that I know of. That nothing's been reported, at least. Except for a few th- theft. Vandalism was down um, this year a bit, a bit. I guess there was a few car accidents, but we survived. Uh, How was everybody's Thanksgiving? Uh, Mine was delightful. Um, Mine was okay. Um, This week we're going to be talking about a guy who has an alligator. And some of the people wrote to me in there telling me what they had for their Thanksgiving dinner. One person had um, buffalo. Another one had some um, kangaroo. Uh, Different uh, meats and different foods during the holiday season. I like hearing about it. And even people in other countries this year, one of my friends said they celebrated a feast um, for that duck uh, alligator was on the list rattlesnake turtle turtle soup was on the list um, just reminds me of that article we're going to go to it's called pest control on a giant scale talking about a man who uh, a Florida hunter Got a 13-foot, 719-pound gator. 
by shooting it with a crossbow and wrestling it into submission. So uh, it actually goes on to tell about uh, pest control and, and um, the skills these people go to. It's something that I would think that I would like to go to. I would like to, uh, if I lived in Florida, I definitely would be one of these gator hunters. Talks about snakes, the Burmese python. Something different you see in the news. And he's probably going to eat it for, uh, probably ate it. Probably already done it by now. Um, by the time the uh, the papers come across these things, they've probably already done it. So, probably going to have it for Thanksgiving, or did have it for Thanksgiving, let's say. Um, Or eat it. I would eat it. I'd skin it, make a nice purse for probably his wife. I'd keep the skull. Uh, Made some keychains out of the hands, of course, like they do. Boots. Made some boots. What the hell do you have a rooster call on here for? What What is that all about? Oh, you're playing over there in that little office of yours? Well, I just heard it in my headphones. I was wondering what it was. Oh, some kind of a time thing they want me to do now for this new network? The network hasn't got... What, what, what was it? Okay. He's just doing a time thing. Um... I guess we're trying to get on another network. It's not going to work. I'm not going to go anything on the networks. I'm really not. So this pest control, back to the alligator. Wrestled it, shot it with a crossbow. Not one of those Dungeons and Dragons crossbows either. The kind you buy at like Dick's Sporting Goods or uh, Bass Pro Shop. Hunter's crossbow. The other thing in the news that goes along with the holiday season is men sexed which is, you know, sending nude photos and stuff. Crazy. 73% of all notes are lewd, which 60% of all sexting is done at work. So, and it goes on to say how it's illegal and how that it is tolerated and how that men are more responsible than women, even though I think women that send me pictures online and... uh, send pictures and all this stuff I think you're responsible women so stop blaming it on us men but like I said and it goes on to say 73% of them are nude photos Um, the overall rating is 80% of people at work that are on their phone may be, in fact, sexting or talking about sex. And it goes on and tells some other things about it that I really don't want to get into, but it's something that I thought maybe uh, now that the holiday season's around and people are working overtime due to the Christmas season and other stuff, maybe if you're a boss out there and your employees are on their cell phone for some reason, maybe they're not texting somebody. Maybe they're um, sharing their nice little photos with each other. Um, not going to get heavy into the news. I don't know why this week we're not going to get heavy into the news. The news is just um, becoming upsetting this week with the Ferguson case and now the other case with the officer who choked someone, who I agree He did wrong. He should face the punishment or whatever they're going to do for what he did. He knew better. They do know better. Police officers are are taught to know better. I'm not going to get into it. I got into a lot. You really want to go to my other shows about police officers, about what they do, what their demands are, what their... uh, problems are we tried to get interviews on here we couldn't do it i kind of gave up trying to prove or stick up for them or even stick up for us i decided the whole entire topic of who's wrong and who's right is just just clouded it is the cloudiest day ever when talking about police officers duties our rights as citizens because it gets so much involved people sent me hate mail people threatened me in my emails 
I think the Ferguson case, I think that they were wrong, okay? I think something should be done, but I don't think they're handling it correctly. Um, the peaceful protest in New York City of the officer who choked the person on both sides of the case, a peaceful protest was done in New York City. Uh, I saw footage. I saw some news articles. I'm trying to get more of the story here. But, of course, no one's handing it to me. Hint, hint, you on the board over there. No one's handing it to me. Anyways, what are you doing? You're on your cell phone. Are you sexting? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, you're setting a, an alarm for what? For the brakes and stuff so I know when the brakes are? Instead of you yelling at me across the table? Are you banging on that glass frame you have over there in your studio? That I need to go on a break. All right. Well, back to this. So I'm off the subject of the police officers right now. I've done enough. I've said enough. I've had enough. I I have very little of either side. That's done. That's 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 not going to be talked about anymore. Um, extended warranties can leave you shocked. A huge article on it. Uh, phone insurance, extended vehicle warranties, store sponsored warranties, manufacturer's warranties, service contract warranties, contracts for insurance, um, extended home warranties, premium credit warranties. Uh, store warranties, which are different than the store sponsored warranties. And it goes on to talk about, this is very important on this holiday season here, it goes on to talk about how how people can get into serious trouble. You pay for a warranty. You don't read the warranty stuff. Um, extended uh, vehicle warranties, I circled, because that's something that I dealt with myself. They'll sell you an extra warranty. But it'll cover the same thing that the regular warranty does. Store-sponsored warranties are ones like Walmart has or Sears. Sears is really big on it. Lowe's and Home Depot have them. Um, Target now is having them. Uh, maybe you have other stores that have uh, Macy's, I guess, does have stuff. And clothes now. But yet... The stuff when something happens, they're not there. The premises of it is, is they're not there for the warranty. They will come up with stuff. There will be fine printed stuff. So, uh, service contracts are listed here. Uh, the ones like Home Depot may have or Lowe's on their products, the dishwashers, refrigerators. Um, they always, co they're just like car warranties. They cover something. If that thing don't go wrong and you don't know what it is because you're not an expert on it, then it won't be covered. You'll be paying more. Uh, Raymore and Flanagan has furniture warranties. They even mentioned them. We have a store up here called Olam's. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but they have a lot of warranties on the TVs and air conditioners and, uh, 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 dryers and washers for your home and my friend got one and um, he got a warranty and he did not know that the washer's belt is a replacement item um, he didn't replace it and something else went wrong and because he didn't replace the belt somehow it has a belt in it or something rolls around the wheel um, to turn the the the, 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 the the dryer and washers um, because he didn't replace that belt whatever went wrong they claimed was because of that and he ended up having to pay for a new uh, piece of new equipment I can't remember if it was a dryer or his washer his washers had a lot of problems water leakage and stuff but these are stuff that uh, they don't tell you that you have to do the maintenance on the hoses and everything else just like a car uh, you got to do your maintenance schedule, and if you skip anything or they find anything, let's say you had an oil leak, and they said, oh, well, you didn't do this, this, and this, then it avoids the warranty. And it talks about other stuff. It tells a few horror stories with cell phones, 
and somebody programmed something, somebody downloaded something, and then something went wrong. Horror stories on electronics and TVs. They're not supposed to be laid. The TVs are not supposed to be laid down, LEDs. Uh, TVs are not supposed to be handled in a different way. They're supposed to be kept in a way. And if they're not kept in that way or something happens or, or even if it's on the truck and they didn't notice it uh, and you decided to do it again, in other words, if you laid down the LED TV and then did it again not knowing it was laid down the first time, you're responsible for all of that. The warranty is voided. So here you pay for a warranty. I paid $1,200 for a two-year warranty on my car at the time uh, the car has since been diff- the car is different now um, that car had really bad mechanical problems and I couldn't fix it but anyways listen to my other episodes of shows I, I ranted about it in fact but I remember I paid for this two year warranty and I got the oil changes at the dealership like they wanted I got my tires changed at the dealership, and all this stuff was at the dealership. I couldn't go somewhere else. I was stuck going to the dealer, and I was stuck putting up with what they wanted me to do. A lot of these uh, warranties in cars and stuff like that, I know Lowe's and all that stuff, they want you to get stuff fixed through them. One, so they can monitor the warranty. This claims they're monitoring the warranty. Secondly, that things are done uh, according to what, how they want it done. Because what they're doing is warranting it. They're saying that it's not going to break, it's not going to have any defects, which makes a lot of sense. However, they could have approved places, like they could approve, uh, you know, Monroe Muffler to do the muffler. They could approve a brake place like Meineke to do your brakes on your car. Um, but they don't. They want you to go, the dealer gives you the warranty Probably through them. It's probably not a manufacturer's thing. Probably not a company. What I call a company warranty. The company that makes the item or builds the car like GM or something. Or uh, Maytag is a wash and dryer maker. And my friend, um, they probably didn't have the warranty through the Maytag. It's probably through the place he bought his washer and dryer. Um, and that is okay. That is fine. Um but this holiday season, they're trying to warn people of this. And it's probably too late. Probably too late to be warning people. Um, and I've seen articles like this throughout the entire year, actually. I remember a recall of cars and stuff. Um, I remember warranties on certain items during the year. At Halloween, there was a lot of, of, of talk of warranties on uh, lighting, on different displays. Um, I remember even a few fires because of these big uh, blow-up type yard things for even at Christmas time now they're having them. Okay, saw the other day a big blow-up Santa in somebody's yard. Well, they're having fires because that heating element inside gets hot and it'll smoke and spark inside causing the unit to catch fire and everything catches fire um and it mentions stuff like that like holiday de- it mentioned decor which probably meaning holiday stuff you can get warranties on stuff you can get warranties on lightings and trees and uh fancy fancy stuff for your house for decorating purposes and a lot of them don't cover if you have them at a certain wattage If you're not maintaining them and caring for them, like if you just shove it in the box and put it in the closet for next year, you have to maintain stuff. It's it's a big deal, folks. It really is. Um, Probably find out more by going online and looking up about the warranties of your products. It shows a few websites to go to. talks about a few um, uh, things you can do to uh, get... Um, your warranty's better. Talks about how you can talk to the manufacturing. Talk about how uh, here on the housing ones you can talk to different people that specialize in this stuff. And of course, all that costs money too. So you're spending a lot of money getting a warranty. You're spending a lot of money on stuff. And I've not even gotten to the point here where I probably figured you already knew this, but you might not. Thank you. When, for once, the person at the board reminds me of something I could do. Is the fact that you're paying for a warranty and you may never need it on uh, regular stuff. 
like your cell phone, you may spend a you know a hundred dollar warranty, and you go out and buy another phone for a hundred dollars. Um, your washers and dryers, um, a lot of them are guaranteed not to fail by the manufacturer itself. If they fail, you get a new one. But they want you to pay for the warranty. On top of that, cars, the dealers will set you up with good deals. I got a lot of money off my car because I didn't. I, I said instead of those deals, give me your money off my car. Um, store sponsored ones. The stores are responsible for everything they sell. Sometimes up to sixty days. Um, and there's some select circumstances when one store uh, sponsored warranties will make sense and it goes on to tell you that it's the product they sell and they do it. Like Sears, for instance, Tools, Sears has, does sell washers and dryers. I know Lowe's and Home Depot sell stuff. Well, they will guarantee their stuff that they sell, that they're famous for selling, that they're really great for doing. Uh, Home Depot is really great on the tools and stuff. Uh, Lowe's also is. Sears is. And if something goes wrong with those things, they will honor the fact and replace it. Craftsman is a one brand of tool that's like that. Well, why do you need extended warranty on something that you know is going to be replaced and you know the store is going to stand behind it? You just spend extra money. But something for the holiday season something to think about uh, write to me wild and wacky wade at yahoo.com phone number 607-217-4667 if you want to be part of the program which probably nobody will ever call this week um, we're going to go on a short little break we might have more i don't know i'm going to look through the stack see what we got um, it is the holiday season's approaching us I'm not sure how many more days we have. We're into the, I don't know, fourth or something. So we have uh, 20, what is it, 20? Yes, 20, 21, 20, 21 days before Christmas. Um, I don't do a countdown. My daughter has a, a calendar with candy in it. She's going to do a countdown. Well, maybe I'll have her come on here and tell us how many days before Christmas. But that's some information. We need to take a break. We will be right back. And here we go. On to some other stuff. A GOP, uh, her name, last name is Luden, got in trouble for uh, saying stuff about how Obama's daughters were dressed which I don't think anybody should say anything about how anybody's dressed. People dress the way they want to dress. They do the things they want to do. And as long as it's not illegal or stupid, then nobody should say anything. That's real quick. Also, we're showing up news this week. This show is as the uh, ninth and 10th show. Uh, for this uh, December month, we're into the month of December, the 9th and the 10th. I hope you're watching it on these dates. I hope YouTube didn't mess it up, but all week. Um, I don't even know where to go on it. Um, I started off the show in the first half of the show with not knowing if we should start on the protest that happened, uh, the bickering and yelling of people laying in streets, beautiful protest in New York City was in the news then we see the next time we have people laying in the street we have people videotaping officers dragging them down the street as they're yelling at the officers fighting with officers this is not about race folks this is about an officer who did something on duty who was wrong somebody who did something wrong somebody who did something illegal somebody who did something viciously uh, wrong, stupid, should not have been done. Could have been done to any of us. Now, what I'm telling you folks is that you're going to allow this to happen. But why are you acting the way you're acting? Why are you acting that way? Don't allow this to happen. Start, you know, boycotting stuff. Start not going places. Start not driving anymore. Start other stuff. 
peaceful. Well, maybe not peaceful, but let's have angry, calm, smart things being done uh, to show that we're not in favor of this. And I don't think I should be the one telling you this, folks. I don't think I should be the one saying smart, dumb, unintelligent stuff, uh, reprimanded, uh, reprimanded uh, uh, systematically governed, uh, uh, weird. Uh, you know, I shouldn't be the one telling you this. You're adults. And I understand the race. I understand that everybody saw the video. I saw the video. I saw the newspaper has right on the front page him holding his hands up, surrendering to the officer. At which point, they should have took out a taser. They should have took out pepper spray and said, do it where you're told or we're going to take action. They didn't do that. Now, here's another question that I want to ask on my show today. And I want to ask it. I want you to answer it. I want you to see it. And I want you to pay attention to it. If you're an officer of the law or a family of officers of the law, why aren't you coming out of the woodwork sticking up? Why aren't you saying, this guy made me look like an idiot? If a paranormal investigator, if a carny, if a circus trainer, if a wrestler, if a whatever else things I've done in my life does something stupid, I will ask the question, why are you making me look like an idiot? Why aren't police officers coming out and saying, this guy made me look like an idiot? Why is everybody going in an uproar over it when we should be seeing people standing up and saying, this man made me look like an idiot? Maybe the best bet would be for officers to go on strike until somebody does something about this or other officers, because they're going to make them look like idiots. Dude, somebody did something wrong, folks. This angers me very much. And I didn't like it. Let's say my carny background, my paranormal investigator background, I have stuck up for stuff. People have done stuff wrong, and I stood up and I said, why did you make me look like an idiot? While other officers, good police officers that go to work every day, to protect and serve like they're supposed to and follow the rules and do everything they're supposed to and get crap for it, why aren't you saying, look it, buddy, you made me look like an idiot? Now, I got an entire city, and it's happening around here now, all right? Entire cities are now full of people who hate every officer they see, which is wrong. They shouldn't do that. Okay, it's right. I'm not advocating for violence. I'm advocating for something to be done following the rules. Every officer in this instant, every officer, every single one should, uh, in my opinion, um, like I said, following the rules, having others follow the rules. What's the matter? Well, answer the phone. I heard it ringing. What was it? Oh, somebody screamed into the phone. Thank you for screaming into the phone and acting like a moron on my show. And not having the guts to come up here and do it live on air. She put you on hold. What did you do? Put them on hold? Are they there? No, they're not. They hung up. They don't have the guts to come on the show and scream into the phone. They don't have the guts to do it. Anyways, like I was saying, see, my train of thought just is going nuts here again. Because that just pisses me off. Why They don't even have the guts to come on, on air and scream into the phone. Anyways, the point I'm trying to get at um, is sticking up for somebody in the business for doing something wrong. And, and making that person have to take responsibility for the representation of the rest of us. If I, as an online radio host, did something stupid, I know damn well the other people would come here and say, Wade, you're an idiot, you're stupid, why did you do that? And I'd have to take re uh, responsibility for representing the rest of the online radio host community. And they're not doing it. So come forward and take responsibility. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I think it's wrong what they did. 
Um, I've uh, explained what happened and been called a racist. I've been called a bigot. I've been called a stupid idiot. I've been threatened. People have threatened me. Um, which which I, I can see why you're angry. If, if something happened and when I worked in the carnivals and when I was a carny, I'm still a carny. I shouldn't say it worked in the carnivals because it's not working. It's living in the carnivals. Um, it's a lifestyle. It's like professional wrestling. It's a lifestyle. But as a carny, I stand up for other people. We also protect each other. So, yes, people are going to protect these officers. They're going to say something that happened. But, like I said, the other side of that is sticking up for yourselves and making a good image for yourself by making that person that gave you a bad image. Yes, that's the word image. Thank you. person on the board finally did something right again. The image is good. By making that image good and not perverting the image and making it bad. So I, as a carny, have uh, the responsibility to represent the carny world and uh, showbiz as being something that's appropriate. Don't go out there and I'm not going to go out there and be stupid. I'm not going to be out there and be an idiot. I'm not going to go out there and be dumb. I'm not going to go out there and be an uh, wild uh, you know what same thing with on like i said earlier online radio host i have a job to represent and and be somebody that people will want to listen to that want to hear and not get a bad idea of online radio online networks yes i talk about the network that doesn't mean anything that's not the the shows and the people who do the shows that's the people that you know, the uh, office, management office, so to speak. That's what I get pissed at. There's a lot of good people out here. There's a lot of people that are doing what I'm doing online, running a show, running a radio show, a program. Um, and our responsibility is just to make the next person look all right and not give a bad image to others. It just pisses me off that no one's no, no one's coming forward. I'd be all over this. If I was an officer, I would, I'd be pissed as hell, and I'd be all over it. I'd, I'd, I'd really be on the ball at getting something done for him, making the image look bad, making the image look uh, wrong. Because I'm sure, I'm sure, there's good officers out there. I've seen them. I met them. I talked to them friends of mine uh, I'm not going to say anything about family because I don't want anything backlashed at us but yes um, and I know there's uh, officers out there that think that what this guy what this, this situation was could have been purely prevented I've been told a lot of scenarios almost 15 different scenarios that could have happened including including ignoring what the guy was doing and moving along telling him to just go away all right ignoring what he did and just tell him to go away happens all the time it happens around here downtown at the bus uh bus thing now that i gotta take buses okay that's another thing i'm gonna pitch about one of these days but at the bus junction depot whatever wherever all they come in together all together there is a lot of people that are told to move along by security and police for doing stupid shit selling cigarettes is a big thing asking for money is another but there's no arrest just tell them to move along and stop acting like an idiot they'll go somewhere else and act like an idiot and you have to tell them to move away from there but that's fine because that's your job, to tell them to move away and stop being an idiot. Not to arrest them or do anything else. Yeah, I'm going to change the subject because some of you are going to write me emails and bitch and holler and call me a racist and a bigot again and threaten me. And that's real mature. Go around threaten people, call people bigots. That's really mature to do. Really mature to lay in the middle of the road, block traffic, 
that was real mature this week. Four different instances that really caused problems. And then videotape officers dragging somebody out of the road while the person is videotaping. Four different videos, by the way. Have people, the person videotaping, videographer, whatever you want to call them, is yelling at the person, stay down, stay down. The other person is yelling at the cops, uh, obscenities. Now, that's really going to be mature. That's really going to make that officer and make people that watch your video aware of your situation. And if you're watching that saying, oh, that person has a right to yell obscenities at an officer. No, you don't. That officer is called because somebody's laying in the middle of the road. And now you're going to make his day all pissy because you want to lay in the middle of the road. Lay on the sidewalk. You know what? You know what I would do to protest this? I'd go out and start giving away my cigarettes to people. Okay? I realize the price of cigarettes here is a lot of money. But I also realize that if I went out and started giving a cigarette to everybody I knew that smoked, and they gave one to everybody they knew, I guarantee you a lot of people would get to the point of how innocent this guy was. And he is as innocent. And I'm not saying that I'm not sorry for his family, for the loss of his family or his children. That's the real big loss is the loss of his children. They're not going to have a father because some officer did something he wasn't supposed to. I think I'm going to leave it at that, that I, I do send condolences or sorries or whatever you want to call it to this guy's family and his children and his friends. I think we're going to leave it at that. I think I'm going to calm myself down. I'm going to take a little break. I got to take a little break again. Why do we have so many breaks? Anyways, network? What network? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, I'm going to take a little break. When we come back, I'm going to find something else to bitch about in this pile. And I got a pile of stuff to bitch about this week. So we'll be right back. Here's something for you uh, people that want to talk about something. Uh, Bill Cosby's in the news. We all remember him from the Cosby Show. At least I do. And advertisements and Fat Albert and cartoons and stuff and comedy. They're claiming that he was with a lot of Playboy bunnies. Um, it's just surprising what they're going to find. Uh, there's other stuff about this, but I, I, I don't think he really did anything. I don't think any... Uh, I don't think Bill Cosby was that kind of person. I'm looking for something else to speak about. Uh, I guess they're having problems with uh, cabs again, ripping people off at the meters, with meters. Um, they're trying to have that solved, called pedicabs. They ride bicycles. They also have uh, carriages, horse carriages, taxi cabs, tourist attractions, trolleys. Warning about this holiday season being ripped off for the tourists. They're going into Macy's, which is New York City, has a great uh, uh, Christmas type uh, in their store. It's a display. They have Santa. I saw the Macy's Santa when I was a kid. But they're just warning tourists of all these attractions and all these uh, things that is out for this year that needs to be a lookout. Traveling. It's it's unbelievable. Uh you know, Black Friday again. Here's something else. Let's get on Black Friday again. Remember, I asked for stories. Here's one. Sales were down on Black Friday. And then another report writes that online sales were up and store sales had a huge decline. So what they're trying to tell you is not a lot of people went out shopping on Black Friday. I don't, I don't go shopping on Black Friday. Um, I, I don't like it. I've seen some stuff. I, I used to go out just to watch the people act stupid and know that what they're buying, for instance, you go and buy a flat screen TV and the flat screen TV was the same price.
or another company's TV. But because that one's on sale, everybody goes and gets that one. There's three, four ads about uh, Black Friday sales and being careful. Being careful with merchandise buying online. Um, and what is this? What are you handing me in the middle of a conversation? Oh, grand jury clears choke cop. We can't breathe. Full coverage. And it's in the daily news here. Again, you're bringing me back to that topic. Why? Well, I just said I didn't want to talk about it anymore. I'm through. Sent out my condolences for his family and said I was sorry for what happened. And going on to this news, what's this? Oh, there's something in here? Oh, yeah, right here. Right here. Some more sales, some more warnings, some more Black Friday stuff about things being up and down. So what you're trying to give me is this, the the paper that talks about these articles. All right. Anyways, uh, I tell people every year to be careful, and here's what I'm going to tell you. You go on to this OV or whatever the heck it's O-N-V-I or whatever this TV is, $390. Well, they claim Sony, and the other one has $390 TVs, big screen type TVs like, you know, I don't know how you measure a screen. I guess it's from one corner to the other. Let's say it's four foot from one corner to the other or three foot. But they're the same TV. They do the same thing. It's the company you're buying. So now everybody runs over to the Sony aisle getting a $390 TV when the other TV was just as fine and it's at $390 the whole entire year. I don't get the difference. I really don't. And something like that, I think, is frauding the customer. Now, if you're selling the Sony TV at $150, then now that's a bargain. That's that's telling the truth. Um, but I, I just don't understand it. And I may never understand it. We're going past the hour here on my watch. Uh, we're getting into... Um, a few more, almost an hour of this program. And the advertisements make it longer and all those other deals they put in there. Um, which maybe they'll have some stupid sales in there for you to go to. And Amazon, I recognize now this one is saying Amazon sales are up. And it said Black Friday people stayed home and shopped online. Well, what the hell? What do you expect? I'm not going to go out there. And the weather we're having, this week alone, school was canceled twice. This week alone, storms, we've had some freezing rain and other stuff happening. And I imagine in other areas, you may get weather that I don't get here. So my weather may be calm like it was yesterday. It was just rain, cold rain and some, you know, a little freezing rain. Now it's snowing and cold. You may have gotten worse or nothing at all. Maybe you live down in the south in Florida or Texas, California, um, where they don't get, or, you know, Midwest somewhere where they don't get a lot of snow. I don't know if it snows in Las Vegas, but I got a few listeners in Las Vegas. Maybe it snows, doesn't snow there, so you have no idea what I'm talking about. And your Thanksgiving was great, your Black Friday, maybe you want to shop on Black Friday, and maybe I'm just a party pooper. And I don't want to shop on Black Friday, and I don't want to get these deals out. But I want to, you know, this stuff while shopping this Christmas season. It doesn't matter on Black Friday. This cab thing, if you're taking a cab or public transportation or you're sightseeing or something with your family because you got vacation for Christmas and all this stuff, it matters to you. Uh, these sales that are happening, the buying and selling and online, and, and that stuff matters to you because you're going to be buying Christmas. But maybe you don't celebrate Christmas. Um, the person on the board just said that. What happens if they don't celebrate anything? Well, don't you at this time of year give something to your friends and stuff? Don't you go to the stores and look at the lights and the pretty trees and, and listening to these people sing these stupid songs. And if they don't quit it this year, so help me. If these carolers come by, I, I hate it. They stand out there in the freezing cold and they sing songs that I already know. And then the guy puts down this uh, a, a basket, the green basket. Um, 
and they expect you to throw money in the basket. That's nice you're singing for me or caroling, but I'm not going to give you money. All right. So the carolers, you can enjoy the carolers. I don't, but that doesn't mean you can't. I love seeing the lights on the houses. I love seeing the lights and the decorations. And, and you know, if, if I could, people send me the pictures of your Christmas trees. I love seeing the different trees. There used to be a Christmas forest and a light show here. Oh, the funding went bye-bye. Oh, the funding, the funding. You charged $5 to see this thing. How did the funding go away? That's a whole nother story, folks, the funding. And I have any, I'm saving all this stuff for maybe the rest of this snow season. We've got the rest of the winter to go. I can bitch about the plows. I can bitch about the mall that had unshoveled sidewalks while people were slipping and sliding. I saw two people fall on the sidewalk. Now, did I help them? No, because other people were there to help them. And they got up and walked in the mall. But still, the, the, the shovels weren't, sidewalks weren't shoveled. People just throwing salt all over their side. Well, why can't you throw a little bit in the road? I swear to God, this lady had four shovelfuls of salt all over her property. She couldn't throw any in the road, in the intersection, to help people so they didn't slide and have an accident. Plows driving around with their plows up. Yes, I realize they're independent cars. They're plows. They're not allowed to have the plow on their ground. Well, why can't you do it? Just because it's the holiday season and you're giving back to others. So plow, okay? God will reward you with no mechanical failures because you're helping others. Okay? I don't get it. The plow is up. The road is slush and disgusting. And you're driving around with your plow up. There's no plow in sight. Cars are slipping and sliding. One went sideways. I'm on a bus, too. So the car went sideways and stopped in the middle of the road and put his flashers on. I don't know. The bus goes around it, and this guy with a plow is is in front of us, not plowing the road, doesn't care. Could have plowed for that car to get out of there or something. I would have. If I had a truck full with a plow on it, I would plow. I'd put that damn plow where it belongs. On the ground, plowing. It's just like a shovel. You're gonna walk these kids walking down the street, unshoveled sidewalks. Yeah, I get fifteen dollars to shovel a walk. Ooh, when I was a kid, you got two dollars. Okay, well times has changed. Two dollars could buy. You know, by the time I got through, I'd probably have about twenty-five dollars in my pocket. I'd make maybe seventy-five dollars that week and buy my toys for the rest of the year. I could buy a whole toy box for that. But anyways, that's besides the story. You can't plow someone's sidewalk just to be nice to them. You're walking by the sidewalk and it hasn't been. Maybe they're on vacation. You could plow their sidewalk for them. Or their driveway for them. Two of the houses, I know senior citizens live there. And if I knew my back wasn't so bad and my knee wasn't bad, I could hardly walk down the street in the snow without my knee giving out anymore, I would be out there shoveling for these people. I'd be salting. I found some salt on a sidewalk, big pile of it. I put it in a plastic bag that I carried, took my book out, stuffed my book under my arm, and threw salt in people's driveways that looked like they needed it because I'm nice. Now, these kids can't plow the side driveway, a few houses here and there, or just bring salt with them in a wagon and throw salt in the driveway for people? Come on, this is... Uh, when I was a kid, we did that. We would be expected to go over to the neighbor's house, th- three, four houses down the block, and shovel their sidewalks and their driveways. Or where I I grew up in a project. So we'd have to go shovel the sidewalk. We'd have to shovel around the garbage area. We would have to shovel all of our parents' friends the sidewalks. So my mom had a sidewalk in another building. I would shovel the main walk and go up to her two friends in the other building that was dangerous. The building was actually dangerous. They had really bad people living there. The kids would, would bring baseball bats and chase you. I'd have to go up there and shovel the sidewalk and hope one of these kids didn't see me and beat me up. Nobody ever did that, though. They stayed inside. Whatever happened to making snowman? My daughter made a snowman the other day. Maintenance man came by and decided to wreck it. 
with a snow uh, snow blower. Well, there's a big pile of snow now, a big mountain of snow out there now. Where she made the snowman. But where she lives, they have maintenance men that salt and 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 put down this wonderful salt that looks like blue chlorine and it heats up. I picked up some in my glove and it turned hot. I don't know, it's called heating. I don't know. Uh, the guy called it heat rice or whatever name that is but anyways that's what he called it so that that that's something that's happening this week that i'm gonna rant about shoveling the walks keeping people safe i also went to the y i i kind of have a membership and they keep sending me a note in the mail saying oh your membership's up your membership's up well let me tell you something ma'am i'm going to tell you about my membership all I do is sit there and watch my daughter swim. I took her to swimming. And the girl behind the desk. I'm going to give her a shout out. She listens to the show. She's trying to have the show on, in fact, the computer. Um, or the network I was on. She didn't know I left the network. She said, can't find your show. Or some stupid shit to me about not finding my show. I, I you know, okay, fine. But what it was was is that the, my point is I went to the Y and there people were uh, having this party. Now, I don't mind if you have a party. I don't mind if it's somebody's birthday. But this guy with this pink hair, red hair, whatever it was, walking around, I got cake, I got cake, I got cake, I got cake. Good, you got cake. Wonderful. Somebody's birthday. Happy birthday to him. Screw you. You didn't come to my birthday party. You didn't send me a card with $100 in it. Why do I give a shit about your birthday? Anyways, I'm just cruel, folks. So the guy's like, I got cake. I go, oh, I don't get any cake? Well, you don't have... And he makes this stupid remark to me, man. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, you don't have pink hair. Well, yeah, I'm not a girl. Girls have pink hair. Girls have little hair colorings and, and weird shit like that. I don't. Not pink. Maybe I'll color my hair dark blue or something. I don't know. But it's not going to be pink. One goddamn color, pink, purple, and the other shit. I don't want to have my hair. I don't know who this guy is. No, I don't. Maybe it was his birthday. Okay, maybe I'm making fun of somebody I shouldn't make fun of because this guy with this pink hair is running around eating his own birthday cake. I don't know. But why would you say that to me? I, 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 felt, like, I felt like getting up and taking the cake out of his hand and, and, and throwing it in the garbage and looking at him and saying, now you don't have any cake. I mean, three, four people looked at him when he did this too. And I don't know, my friend at the desk is laughing. I don't know if she's laughing at me. I don't know if she's laughing at him. I don't know if she's laughing because she thinks it's funny that he's running around with cake. Maybe it was part of the birthday party. I don't know. Maybe the guy, uh, maybe it's his anniversary. Maybe he's married to her. I don't know. I hope not. She looks nice. Maybe I should ask her out to dinner one of these days or something. Anyways, so this cake thing pisses me off. Pisses me off. So I'm sitting there reading the paper. And then a guy walks up and asks me the time. That's fine. And he goes, I'm late to the gym. How can you be late to the gym? Going to the gym... Is not a scheduled activity. Do you realize that? Anyways, I'm late for the gym. I wish they I wish they would work it better. Work what better? The gym you go in and work out in. I could go there right now. I could get up in the middle of this broadcast, say to hell with you all your listeners, and go to the gym. That's not a timed place. Now, I've heard a lot of people do this in professional wrestling. I'll be late for the gym. Well, you're not late to the gym. You're late on your own schedule. 
I'm not following my schedule. That's what you should be saying. I'm not I'm not on schedule or something. Not late to the gym. Oh, all right. I got to take another break. When I come back, we'll probably wrap things up. Um Wild and Wacky Wade at yahoo.com 607-217-4667 is the phone number to call. You can go here on YouTube. You can find my Twitter, my Facebook account, friend me and stuff. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Oh, boy. One of those advertisements there that's on this list that I was reading because sometimes I read the list to see what could be played because I never know is eye care, meaning an eye doctor. And another one is for skin care. What the heck are they trying to tell people? Anyways, I think this show is gone enough. Um, I think I'm pissed enough. We just heard some plows go by. And um, having the road salted, you could hear the plow banging on stuff, meaning it's, it's just hitting potholes. I don't understand it. Pick up your plow if there's potholes. Don't damage the damn thing. Anyways, folks, I'll see you next week. Uh, same time, same place. 